Black girls can't be sad. We are only qualified for laying on our backs and slaving in a kitchen. We juggle the many aspects of being categorized as sympathy, a charity case of pity and guilt. We got tired of being beaten and harassed by those who try and teach us our history. Our bridges have been trampled rather than crossed. We are similar to snowflakes. Looking similar from afar, the ones seen in great details. Our patterns are different. Our patterns are unique, but still, we are a fragile species commonly misunderstood because we have been labeled ever since we were shipped off as goods. Our skin, the color of sand, because her ancestor's sacred chest of treasure was stolen by pirates of greed, and that was the moment black women created a facade of courage. We got tired of letting them humiliate our tears, which have watered the seed of emotionless black girls, women of color, never qualify for any type of depression. Insecurities lurk longingly throughout our bodies, feeding off of our biggest fears and doubts to fulfill the delightful appetites of others' personal taste. I am not loud. I'm only trying to make sure you hear me over the shouts of discouragement. I am not bossy. I'm only trying to guide of acceptance. I'm not trying to be white. I'm trying to be myself. I refuse to be doomed as another illiterate black girl. Your ethnic background should not define who you are. I should not be shunned by others or my own because I like flower crowns and tumbler. Tell me, how is it we abolish slavery, but lynch dreams, becoming slaved to the likings of society? So yeah, when she jumps off of the cliff of acceptance, it can't be because she was sad. Woo! <laughs>